ecosystem balance. Have you ever wondered how much damage we actually cause to our planet? The World Count says that we throw away a total of 2.12 trillion kilograms of waste per year. That's about the mass of two whole mountains. Isn't that insane? But that is just the waste we produce. Think about all the other harmful things that we do to our environment. An example is water wastage. We leave taps on unnecessarily while taking long, hot showers. Something else that we do is cut trees. Trees are home to over two million different species. Speaking of natural habitats, we also drill oil and other resources from the Earth's ground. Drilling happens all over the world, and it disturbs the natural habitats of countless animals. We also have a lot of industrial work going on around the Earth. These industrial works releases toxic gases into our atmosphere, covering the ozone. This traps heat into the Earth, which doesn't let the heat escape. But if we know such things are harmful to our environment, why do them? You may deny this, but humans are a selfish race. We do things for our own good, not realizing all the other species that we're hurting. But why should we care what happens to plants and animals? Humans rely on meat and dairy products for food, which comes from animals. We need plants to breathe for our oxygen. We also use them for food, which we use to grow animals. That's why we need to start worrying about our planet and everything on it. But can't we just wait five years, wait for 10 years, just sit, and sit back and relax for now? No, we can't, because we have a limited amount of time, and we need to use that to save our ecosystem. But there's no hope, right? Our end is so near. It's only 29 years away if we don't do something. I don't think we can do anything, right? Wrong, because it's never late to make a change. It's time that we all took action together by reducing our carbon footprint. Less industrial work and a reduction of cutting down trees and water wastage are a great way. But that will take time, effort, and everyone. So let's start with you. You can do just little things around the house and other places to help such a big process. Like turn off the light when you leave a room or close taps when not in use. Try recycling and reusing instead of consuming and throwing away. These may seem like the most littlest things, but if everyone makes a little change, we can turn our 29 years to a point where we won't have to worry about anyone's end. We need to start changing, and change starts now with me and you. Thank you for watching.